ओके गुड अफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रोसेसेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी आर स्टडी द कंसेप्ट प्रोसेस ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोसेस ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी इन दैट इन द सेंस इन दिस कंसेप्ट we already studied the first step that is isolation of the genetic material dna second step we have studied cutting of the dna at a specific site or a location then we have studied we have studied regarding the amplification of the gene interstate using the pcr then we have studied insertion of recombinant dna into the host cell or a organism these four steps we have studied already the next step in in the concept processes of recombinant dna technology that is nothing but obtaining the origin gene product obtaining the origin gene product okay in brief i used to tell you before going to the blackboard what we are going to go for here in obtaining the origin gene product in the sense obtaining the origin gene product how we are going to obtain the origin gene product you used to add the alien dna into the what vector That is what we are going to call it as a plasmid. Afterward, that we are going to insert it into the bacterial cells. In bacterial cells, they are going to what multiply? Plasmids are going to multiply like that. You are what interested gene is also going to multiply, and the number of what bacteria are going to increase. Okay, how the bacteria are going to increase? Used to grow them in a particular media and used to increase the number of those bacteria. That's what. By the increasing the number of bacteria, our interested gene also, whatever they inside the bacteria, that is also going to increase. Okay, and then what you are going to go for? You are going to extract the interested gene. Interested gene in the sense, ultimately the uh, what we are going to get the ultimate desired protein, desired protein, and that should be in a large quantity. That should be in a large quantity. Not in a smaller scale. Smaller scale in the sense, in laboratory you can grow the what we are going to call them as those bacteria, and you can get the a small quantity of desired protein or a desired gene. But if you want the higher or large quantity of a desired protein, that time we are going to go uh, for the different techniques. Different techniques. Uh, using those techniques, we are going to get the uh, large quantity of protein and all. And these all the things we are going to discuss in this particular. A point that is obtaining the origin gene product. How we are going to obtaining the origin gene product? But in the gene, the A number kind of gene product, how many obtain? Mark. Very first item here, the piece of A and DNA that clones to the vector in the sense cloning vector now clone mark. Then that cloning vector we used to add in a bacterial, plant, or an animal cell. Correct. Then this A and DNA multiplied. This A and DNA whatever we are going to add in a bacterial cell. Plant cell or animal cell that is the R DNA that is going to multiply in all in all the bacterial bacterial cell or a plant cell or a animal cell and that is to ultimate aim to produce the desired protein is to get the desired protein and what is going to happen there is to need to express this what we are going to call that the R DNA into the bacterial cell. Express the R DNA in the plant cell. Express the R DNA in the animal cell. Where you are going to introduce? That is what the need of R DNA has to be expressed. Need of R DNA has to be expressed. The origin DNA expressed under under the appropriate conditions. Whatever we are going to add, the origin DNA into the vector, then the cloning vector is added into the bacterial cell, plant cell, or animal cell. That time. For the multiplication or for the expression of that R DNA or A N DNA under the appropriate condition, we used to maintain the appropriate conditions. So those conditions are helpful for expressing the origin DNA. If any protein encoding G is expressed in a heterologous host, it is called as a R protein. R protein in the sense what? If any protein, the protein encoding gene, protein encoding gene, it is expressing in a heterologous host cell. Protein encoding gene, it is if it is expressing in a what heterologous host cell, it is called as a R protein. That is R protein, and we are going to get the desirable protein. The cells can how we are going to multiply them? I told you earlier, 
next is to draw simple diagram you should draw and remember in such a way that so that is easy for you people to remember and draw the diagram So likewise, we should draw the diagram. And here, we have to get one motor. Right? Okay. So I am going to label this. And this is a motor. And this is foam breaker. Okay, home breaker, flat blade. This is this is flat blade. Flat blade culture both. Flat blade culture both. Sterile here. Sterile air, sterile air. Then this is acid base pH control. Acid base pH control. Then steam for the sterilization. Now here, steam for the. Sterilization. Steam for the sterilization. Yes, see, T I O N. Steam for the sterilization. Okay. So this is about what. This is a simple steel. S T I double R I T D. Simple steel tank bioreactor. Simple steel tank bioreactor. Okay, so this can be asked for you for a what we are going to call that one as a two marks question sometime. Okay, two marks question please to ask you about this uh, draw a neat level diagram of what simple steel tank bioreactor. Another one is there spared steel tank bioreactor. We used to draw that diagram. At the home, and that is the homework for you people. Another one is there. What is sprayed steam bio steel bio reactor? This is the bio reactor. What is going to happen in this bio reactor? These are the bio reactors of hundred to one thousand liters of volume. How many? Hundred to one thousand liters of volume. And in this, you are going to get what I told you. These are they used for the culturing process was required. These bio reactors can be brought by the vessels in which the raw materials are biologically. These are the vessels in which the raw material biologically converted into. In this, what is going to happen? The raw materials biologically converted into a specific product or individual enzymes. Specific 
प्रोडक्ट और इंडिविजुअल एंजाइम्स स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट और ए इंडिविजुअल एंजाइम्स एंड हियर द यूजिंग द माइक्रोवियल एनिमल और ए ह्यूमन सेल्स एंड ये यू आर टू यूज व्हाट माइक्रोवियल एनिमल और प्लांट सेल्स ओके सो दिस आर द बायो रिएक्टर्स ऑफ ए लार्ज वेसल्स देयर वॉल्यूम इज अबाउट 100 टू 1000 लीटर्स एंड दीज आर यूजिंग द रॉ मटेरियल्स दोस बायोलॉजिकली कन्वर्टेड इनटू द स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट्स और इंडिविजुअल एंजाइम्स बाय यूजिंग द माइक्रोबियल एनिमल और ए प्लांट सेल्स ओके दीज बायो रिएक्टर्स आर द ऑप्टिमम कंडीशंस टू अचीव द डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट आई टोल्ड यू for getting the desirable product we used to grow the different types of cells in a specific conditions specific conditions or appropriate conditions and the specific conditions are provided by these bioreactors specific conditions are provided by these uh, what we are going to call it as a bioreactors to getting or achieving to getting the desirable product or protein okay what are those specific conditions these are going to provide in the sense these are going to provide the optimum growth conditions like these are going to provide the specific conditions like temperature particular temperature which can help to grow the cells in optimum conditions pH substrate temperature pH substrate substrate okay pH substrate salt vitamin oxygen salt vitamin oxygen etc salt vitamin oxygen etc these are the what the optimum conditions these are the what optimum conditions which are provided by these bio reactors for growth of the different kinds of cells in the sense specific condition what are those optimum conditions temperature ph substrate salt vitamin and oxygen etc these are provided by the these bio reactors and these bio reactors are helpful to get in the desirable product in the sense proteins in a large quantity and here these are going to provide a specific what we are going to call it as a uh, specific or a optimum conditions which are helpful for growth of a different kinds of cells like microbial animal or a plant cells in a optimum temperature ph substrate salt vitamin and oxygen these are the optimum conditions which are provided by the what we are going to call it as a stirred pack okay a stirred tank reactor using the cylindrical with a curved base of facilitated mixing the reactor contain the reactor contain in the sense in this we are going to take the raw materials and stir facilitate even the mixing of mixing and oxygen availability through the through the bio reactor this stirred air and all these are going to provide the mixing and through the availability of oxygen okay and alternative one for this that is what i told you spread uh, sorry sperge stirred tanks sperge uh, what stirred tank you used to draw the diagram about that so you should remember about this what if you are going to get the desirable product in a higher quantity you are going to use the bio reactors and these bio reactors are the large vessels of a volume 100 to 1000 liters and these are going to provide the optimum conditions to grow the way different types of cells or a biological uh, products okay this is about what by using these bio reactors we are going to get the higher quantity or a larger quantity of way desirable proteins okay now next and last what we are going to call that as a point in a processing of dna processing of recombinant dna technology that is downstream processing downstream processing 
what is mean by downstream processing and uh, this is very important in downstream uh, processing uh, sometimes uh, one question is asked in computer exam also which one of the following is not a downstream processing uh, step in a downstream processing what is mean by downstream processing d o w n s t r e a m downstream processing after the completion of whatever you are going to get the desirable r means uh, proteins in a larger quantity or after the completion of biosynthetic stage the product has to be subjected to the series of processes what i told you after the after the biosynthetic stage bio synthetic stage after the biosynthetic stage what the product has subjected to the product has subjected to the series of stages subjected to the series of processes or stages what stages before it is ready for marketing before before the product is ready for marketing that is what we are going to call it as a downstream processing okay downstream processing in a sense after the biosynthetic stage used to the product has subjected to the series of stages before the product is ready before the product is ready for the marketing okay and the processes include what are the stages this are the different processes i written here the product is subjected to the a series of what we are going to call it as a series of processes it's like a processes series of processes and these processes are include separation and purification these processes are include separation and purification separation and purification separation and purification which are collectively referred as downstream processing and all these collectively refer as downstream processes is that collectively referred r e f e r r e referred as downstream process downstream processes are nothing but after the biosynthetic stage the product has subjected to the series of processes before it is ready for the marketing and these processes are consist of separation and purification and all these collectively referred as downstream processing are collectively referred as downstream processes they is to ask you what are downstream processes or what are the steps or processes involved in a downstream processes those are separation and purification the products has been formulated with a suitable preservation and afterwards what the products has been the products has been formulated with a suitable preserve preserve I means preservatives has been what we are going to call it as a formulated with suitable suitable preservatives suitable preservatives p r e s e r p r e s e r v a t r v a s preservatives what are the preservative in the sense whatever you are getting the end product that can be uh, in a stable condition after the condition the those conditions are remain for the longer time by using these preservatives in the sense first one is separation it is the what one step in a downstream processes purification is also the steps in a, a step in a downstream processing another one is preservation all right using the preservative 
it is a preservation such formulation has undergone through the clinical trials in a in case of drugs after this what if we are going to making a drugs by using what we are going to call it as a r dna technology that time first up to the uh, biosynthetic stage these are the processes preservative then those are going to go for their clinical trials sorry clinical trials in case of drugs and strictly quality control testing in each product is required quality control idella en paadha marketing madikinta madu ee drugs eddu andra avane madbeku nava we used to uh, means these products are undergoing the clinical trials trials and afterwards the quality control testing of each product whatever you are uh, prepared the products that can be means that product has undergoing the quality control testing and the downstream processing and the quality control testing vary from product to product the downstream processing and what quality control testing is varies from one what we are going to call it as a product to the another product so in this what we are going to call that one as a particular downstream processing downstream processing these are the things after the biosynthetic stage the product has been subjected to the series of processes before the product is ready for the marketing they will have to go for the separation and purification and these all are collectively referred as a downstream processing and after this uh, separation and purification you used to preserve the product uh, in the sense the product has been formulated with the suitable preservatives okay and after this what is the what is going to happen if your product is drug then that is undergoing the clinical trials that is undergoing the clinical trials and afterwards whatever your product is there that is undergoing the quality control test quality control test and the last point in a downstream process is the the processes downstream processes and quality control test is varies varies in the sense that it is differ from one product to the another product so this is about what downstream processes so these all are the steps involved in what we are going to call it as a processes of recombinant dna technology in process of in process of recombinant dna technology we are studied still for so far the first step isolation of genetic material dna second one is cutting of dna at a specific location amplification of gene interest using the pcr this is the third step then insertion of a recombinant dna into the host cell or organism and today we are studying the obtaining the polygen gene product and last step is downstream processing downstream processing okay so this is about what the chapter biotechnology principles and processes here to the end of this what present uh, present chapter that is the biotechnology principles and processes okay in next class we are going to start the next chapter that is the biotechnology and its application biotechnology and its application so what is the homework for you people is you used to go through the exercises which are given in your ncert book and you used to find out the questions which are appeared in a last what four years question paper march question paper what are those 16 17 18 sorry 16 uh, 17 18 19 20 17 18 19 20 ee question paper tagibeku aa question paper da ee chapter da ee yav questions bandavala aa questions you used to write and i used to ask the answer for those questions when i am going to uh, what meet you in a google class okay i will stop with this i'll continue in the next class with the next chapter thank you